that is chi square test of goodness of fit and the next case is the theory predicts the proportion of bins in four groups a b c and d should be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in an experiment among 1600 bins the number in the four groups were 882 313 287 and 118 does the experimental result support the theory okay so in this case the expected frequency will be the summation of observed or actual frequency in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so directly we can start with null hypothesis null hypothesis will be the experimental result support the theory that means the results or the result of the experiment of the experiment is in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 alternative hypothesis will be the experiment result do not support does not support the theory the experimental result does not support the theory that means the result of the experiment is not in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 <coughs> now what will be the expected frequency given to be 882 and the first expected will be 1600 in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 that means 1600 into 9 by 16 so it will be 900 Second observed frequency is 313. It will be 300 in the same way. The expected frequency 287. Again 300, 1600 into 3 by 16. And the last is 118. It will be 100. Once again, no expected frequency is less than 5. So, no need of cancellation of the smaller frequency and merger with the greater frequency. O minus E, 882 minus 900, that means minus 18. 
313 minus 300, positive 13. 287 minus 300, negative 13. 118 minus 100, positive 18. O minus E whole square, 18 square is 324 and 13 square is 169. Now O minus E square divided by E. 324 divided by 900. 0 0.36. 0 0.36. 0 0.36. Exact 36. Okay. 360 rather. 169 divided by 300. 0.563. Next will be same. 0 0.563 because 169 divided by 300. Now 324 divided by 100, it will be 3.240, is it? Okay. 6, 2, 4.762, that is our chi-square. 4.762, chi-square. Now level of significance. See, only after preparing this table and getting the entire column of E, we can have the knowledge about the frequency or expected frequency less than 5, cancellation, merger, etc. And that affects our degrees of freedom. So, in the case of chi-square test of independence as well as chi-square test of goodness of fit, we have changed the order of writing. First we calculate the chi-square and then we write level of significance, degrees of freedom and critical value. Because it is totally dependent on whether we have to cancel any of the expected frequency or not. That means we have to reduce the degrees of freedom by the number of frequencies cancelled. That's why we have to write all these after calculation of chi-square. Is it? Okay? Yes. No. Further information about the level of significance, so again we are going to take it as 5%, that means alpha 0 0.05. Degrees of freedom, here I will prefer to use letter K instead of N. K minus 1, K means number of cells or number of cases, 1, 2, 3 and 4, so it is 4 minus 1. See there is nothing like contingency table, that means no data in the form of row and columns is there. That's why we have to use again this formula, degrees of freedom 3, so row of 3 and column of alpha 0 0.05, critical value. 7.815 of chi-square equals to 7.815. Now comparison. Chi square calculated is 4.726. Chi square critical is 7.815. The calculated value of chi square is less than the critical value. So the null hypothesis E is not rejected. And the conclusion is the experimental result support the theory okay